Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we will do part 1 of chapter Shapes and Patterns. In this part 1, we will understand line of symmetry and mirror images or reflection. Let's understand line of symmetry and reflection with the help of an activity. Take a piece of paper and fold it in half. Now draw a half circle and cut on the line. Student, you may take your parents help for this. When you are done with the cutting, the paper would look as shown here. Now open the folded paper and you will find a complete circle made out of two semicircles. Now draw a line where the paper was folded. This line is called line of symmetry. By definition, a line which divides a figure into two mirror halves is called line of symmetry. Each mirror half is the mirror image or reflection. In this, one semicircle is the mirror image of other semicircle. Let's take some real life examples to understand line of symmetry. For example, a butterfly. A butterfly has one line of symmetry. Next is a boiled egg cut in half has one line of symmetry. Next, screen of TV, it has two lines of symmetry. Next, a kite. A kite has one line of symmetry. An airplane, it has one line of symmetry. Students, similarly, we can find numerous other real life examples of line of symmetry. Now, let's do an exercise. Draw the line of symmetry for following figures. First figure is rectangle. A rectangle has two lines of symmetry because we can fold the rectangle into two equal halves vertically as well as horizontally. Next figure is square. A square has four lines of symmetry because a square can be folded into two equal halves vertically, horizontally as well as diagonally. Now we have to draw the line of symmetry in this figure. It has one line of symmetry as shown here. Now in the next figure, there are two lines of symmetry, horizontal as well as vertical. Now let's see the next figure. There are two lines of symmetry, vertical as well as horizontal. Now students, let's take the last figure. This figure has no line of symmetry because we cannot fold it in half either horizontally or vertically. Let's do an exercise on mirror images or reflections. Question is, take the following figures which are reflections or mirror images of each other. Students, look at these figures. These are not reflection of each other because these figures cannot be Fold it on each other. So the correct mirror image is as shown here. Next, look at these two figures. Are these mirror images a reflection of each other? Yes, because they can be folded on each other. Now, look at these figures. These figures are mirror images of each other because 
they can be folded on each other. Now look at these figures. Are these mirror images or reflection of each other? No, these are not reflection of each other because these figures cannot be folded on each other. So the correct mirror image is as shown here. Now students, what is the mirror image of number 1? This is not the correct mirror image or reflection. The correct mirror image of number 1 is as shown here. Now, what is the mirror image of capital letter P? This is not the correct mirror image. The correct mirror image or reflection of capital letter P is as shown here. So students, in this video, we learned line of symmetry and mirror images or reflection along with real life examples and questions. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then do hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook and make sure to press the bell icon. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.